द इक्वेशन ऑफ द फैमिली ऑफ लाइन्स पासिंग थ्रू द पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ लाइन्स ए वन एक्स प्लस बी वन वाई प्लस सी वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड ए टू एक्स प्लस बी टू वाई प्लस सी टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो इज द फर्स्ट लाइन ए वन एक्स प्लस बी वन वाई प्लस सी वन प्लस लैम द टाइम्स ए टू एक्स प्लस बी टू वाई प्लस सी टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो और सिंपली एल वन प्लस लैम डा एल टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो लेट इज ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस स्टेटमेंट दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेटमेंट सो लेट इज एज्यूम दैट ऑन द कार्टिशन सिस्टम यू हैव टू लाइन्स एल वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड एल टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो L1 means this expression a1x plus b1y plus c1. L2 means this expression a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to zero. So let us say that they are intersecting at a point. Obviously, if these two are not parallel to each other, they will intersect at some point. Now, as you can see from this intersection point, there are many lines which can pass through this point of intersection there are a family of lines which pass through this point of intersection there are infinite number of lines which pass through this point of intersection so the equation of the lines which pass through this point of intersection that is all these lines look like L one plus lambda times L two is equal to zero, where lambda is a parameter. That is, if you for different values of lambda, for different values of lambda, you get different lines. For lambda is equal to one, you might get some line which pass through this point of intersection. For lambda is equal to two, you might get another line. Lambda is equal to three. Lambda is equal to four. So on. The line just keeps on rotating for different values of lambda, and this equation, effective equation, will always pass through the point of intersection. And it is very clear from this equation because if alpha comma beta is the point of intersection, if alpha comma beta is the point of intersection, this point satisfies this. Condition as well as this condition, right? At alpha comma beta, the first expression will also be equal to zero. The second expression will also be equal to zero. So zero plus lambda times zero will always be equal to zero. That means this equation always gets satisfied by alpha comma beta, which is the point of intersection of these two lines. That means alpha comma beta lies on this equation. For every value of lambda, for lambda is equal to one, lambda is equal to two, three, so on. For every value of lambda, alpha, beta, which is the point of intersection of these two lines, satisfies this equation. Furthermore, this is a linear equation. This is a linear in x and y. That means this is an equation of straight line. For every value of lambda, this is a straight line, and this passes through this alpha comma beta. That means this is the family of lines which pass through the point of intersection of these two lines so this is a very important statement which will be very useful in solving problems let us look at some standard examples where this statement will be useful <laughs> 